Mr. Sun today? Uh, yes, us too. All right, can we draw the movie to the right to follow his direction? Awesome, thank you. Have a good one. Washington, or actually, more accurately, just outside the city because we have waved goodbye to Seattle and we are on a new adventure today. We are heading right now to Bainbridge Island to get to Olympic National Park. Yay. You guys, another one for the count. <laughs> I have been waiting so long to go to Olympic. That's part of the reason I wanted to come up here to the Pacific Northwest the whole time. We've gone to so many national parks so far, and this one is like the top of my list of where I want to go with the rainforest and the different climates, the mountain ranges and the ocean on the west coast. It's gonna be beautiful. This is our first time tent camping, well, together at all. And I can't remember the last time I tent camped, like maybe <laughs> childhood, I don't know. It's gonna be wild. Today's plan, we're on the ferry right now. We're gonna go all the way over to Bainbridge and then on to the other side. We're camping just outside of Forks, Washington on the west coast of things. And we're gonna get in, get set up, maybe do a little beach action for yeah, a little beach sunset, have yeah. a little dinner out there. So that's the plan. We're going to take a look around the boat for a bit, see if we can spot some whales. I hope so. Supposedly you can sometimes <laughs> see orcas. No hope that, but let's go take a look. Whale, no whales. <laughs> no whales. That's all right. Pretty views. Great views of the city too. Yeah. All of Seattle. Downtown. Main bridge is gorgeous. Looks like yeah. the place to be. But we're leaving. We got places to go. Let's go. Let's go, kids. <laughs> First pit stop. We are driving through this town, Port Gamble. It is a beautiful, charming town. A lot of old buildings built in the late 1800s, but the pit stop is for cider. So we've decided that cider is gonna be a tradition of sorts for camping, outdoor adventures. We started doing it when we went to Sequoia. Sorry, I totally forgot. We started doing it once in Sequoia. We've done it a couple of times since. And I did in fact buy some cider for us before this trip. Funny enough, Jordan said he didn't like it at all and yet somehow we managed to drink all of it. So we were talking about, oh, we should stop into a town and grab some and we're going down the road and we passed through Port Gamble and it said beer and cider to go. And I said, hold up, <laughs> turn around. So we're gonna pop in and just see. We don't know this place at all, but let's see what they Hopefully have. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. Have a good day. You, you too. too. Success, you guys. That little random stop off paid off. We got sort of a variety pack of a brand called Channel Markets from Seattle. They have all kinds of sort of like flavored ciders. So we got pineapple matcha, rhubarb raspberry, and cranberry clove. I'm very excited about cranberry clove. That sounds really cool. And then if this is not camping cider, I don't know what is. It's a little pouch. This one is from Nashi Orchards. It's apparently an English style and it's a still cider, so it's not bubbles or anything. But is that not like camping friendly or what? I love it, I couldn't resist it. Anyway, let's pop back in the car and keep going. for our space. We're looking for number 14. It was 12, 13. There we are, number 14. We found this place on Airbnb. We'll link it below as we always do. And we've just arrived to our little piece of Washington. Wow, the moss and the trees, they are incredible. Let's take a look at where we are going to call home. Right there, we're gonna put a tent. I think Jordan's grabbing the tent and the chairs right now, but we have to hurry. We didn't really mention this, but we missed the ferry we intended to take. So we are 
very much behind schedule. So we're gonna try and make this snappy and then go catch the sunset and have some dinner because I'm beyond hungry at this point. So let's pitch a tent. All right, so we rented our camping gear from this place called Kitlander. You can go and rent different packages, a tent, chairs, sleeping pads, sleeping bags. We had a whole kit. It was pretty cool. It came like two days before today. And then when we get back, we just basically ship it back to them. I don't want to run, run out of uh, daylight. So we're going to get to setting up real quick so we can hurry up and go watch the sunset at the beach. Okay. I said, let's make this snappy. Let's really make this snappy. Ta-da. Between y'all and me, I've always wanted to do a transition like that. So thanks for humoring me. Not too bad, huh? There was no arguments, there was no fighting, but it's 7.50, sunsets in like half an hour. We're gonna go over to the beach, have a little dinner. a very quick drive down the road is Rialto Beach and we are going to kind of sort of see sunset. It's very Pacific Northwest gray so I don't know what the sunset will even look like. We're just gonna go stare at the water and eat some food finally. It's like way past eight o'clock and I've been hungry since five so I am thrilled for this picnic. Let's go eat. <laughs> This beach is incredible. Look at this massive tree. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. The waves are huge. Look at this tree. There's just a ton of like old dead tree logs everywhere and the forest comes out to the ocean. It's so moody looking and the sea stacks out in the distance. It's so cool. So nice. We so brought cool. a couple of chairs to sit on, but I don't think you need them at all. There are logs galore. Yeah. <laughs> There's several people here also enjoying the evening. Yep. Oh, gorgeous. And it's literally a hundred shades of gray or 50 <laughs> if you're funny. Anyway, <laughs> it's all gray, like the pebbles and the sky. And yet still it is striking. God, those waves are so mesmerizing. Okay. Let's eat. I'm, yeah. I'm excited to eat these free rolls. What's up, Karen? Hey, come on. If you come stand right next to me, you can fold it over your legs. Sweet. I got you a spot. Thank you. <laughs> I'm cold and wet now. <laughs> oh well. Oh, that's so good. This is the Cran Clove cider. It's very subtle, the Cran Clove, which kind of gives me Thanksgiving vibes, which is very exciting because like being up here in the Pacific Northwest, the seasons come on time, which to a Texan feels early. So like spooky season is upon us, which means Thanksgiving is right around the corner. I know I'm rambling, but this is delicious is the moral of that story. I was really channeling when we were on our Hong Kong Bay cruise and we did that little mini cooking yes, class and we so made much fun. fried spring rolls. But you know, the wrapping is basically the same. I do think I could have filled these fatter, fuller. They're pretty stuffed though. But I was afraid that it would rip. These look so good y'all. So they have like, what, tempeh in them, carrot, mint. Mm -hmm. What else is in there? Cilantro, cucumber, Cilantro. daikon. And then we brought peanut sauce on the side in a jelly jar. <laughs> Mm. Not bad. These are good. For my first time. It's, it's not so bad. good. Yo, with the peanut sauce and everything, it was delicious. Perfect little picnic with the cider. Cider. So good. Thank All you. Right. I think that'll round out today. We're going to finish this, enjoy the view, go to bed, and we'll see you all in the morning for a full day at Olympic National Park. Good night.